So if we're in a situation of scarcity, where there is not enough to go around for everybody, how could we solve that situation? We could solve it by producing enough for everybody. We could make sure that everybody has a place to live, a form of transport, that they have good food, and that they have access to education and to work. And then everybody could lead a good life. And if we just produce enough, then there would be enough for everybody. We could also say that the question is a question of distribution. How do we distribute the things that we have in the world, of which we seem to have plenty for the rich people, how could we distribute it in a fairer way so that everybody has a way to fulfill their basic needs? Now, this was tried under communism. Communism is the, the idea that resources should be pooled, they should be public, and that everybody should have equal access to their basic necessities. But people were often miserable under communism. And if we understand the psychology of our consumption, if we understand the psychology of why we always desire more, then we could understand why just distributing equally is not a solution to scarcity. And the reason is because most of our consumption is symbolic. And when we consume, we do so because of something called mimetic desire. So let's look at symbolic consumption and mimetic desire. 